Hello everybody, how are you doing today? My name is Tony Rizzano and this is episode 118 of the world famous affiliate party podcast. Now today we're going to talk about something that you should be using in your affiliate marketing business and that is curiosity, ladies and gentlemen. You know, my mom, she used to watch uh, Young and Restless. Young and Restless, for those of you that don't know or been living under a rock, is a uh, soap opera. And one of the uh, one of the funny lines I ever heard was um, this woman named Gloria, her ex-husband came to town. And her, her ex-husband was named Tom, or she called him Terrible Tom. And she told Tom, she said, Tom, curiosity killed the cat. And he turned around and said, hey, baby satisfaction brought him back. And I always thought that was one of the better lines in that uh, show that I that I ever heard. But uh, yeah, curiosity is definitely something that you should use in your marketing business, your marketing strategy. Why well, should you use curiosity? Because when you're playing cards, ladies and gentlemen, you don't show your whole hand, do you? Of course not. You have to, because people are listen. People want to, people want to start, people want to, people want to make money online. People want to start online businesses. People want to do a lot of different things, but sometimes they don't know how to, or they just don't know where to get started, or they just, you know, they might be hesitant. They might be, you know, unsure of themselves, but one way you can get somebody into the door of your affiliate if you're an affiliate for something, is what they call curiosity. Now, curiosity doesn't mean you have to lie. Curiosity doesn't mean you have to be deceitful. Curiosity is just giving them a small... It's like when you go to Costco. When you go to Costco, they don't give you a whole hamburger for free, do they? When you go to the sample, sample tables, of course not. They give you a sample. They give you a little, a little taste. They give you a little taste. They get you on the hook. Then they reel you in and show you the show you the whole thing. They say, hey, you you can you can buy we we are selling this in the store for X amount or however much it is, you know. You should be you should use curiosity and you you should use a lot of different techniques and curiosity should be one of them. And just like I've said before, you don't sell the engine, you know, you sell the car. But you don't tell them. You don't tell them the whole car. You don't say, "Hey, this car has a 3.8, uh, you know, V8 cylinder." Blah 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 blah. No. If somebody was selling you a car, to get them in the door, you might say, oh, "This car can go from zero to uh, 120 in two seconds." Oh, what kind of car is it? Right, come in. Come in, and we'll show you. Come in for a test drive. You know, something like that. And you go, oh, I better go in for a test drive. I, I need to see what kind of car this is. I need to find out more about this car, you know? Things like that. You want to bring people in. You want to let people... You want to... It's like... Uh, <laughs> it's like... I, I'll, I'll say this. It's like... You meet a woman, you know? You you meet a woman wherever you meet her. She's not gonna, you know. If you go, if you take a woman out on, if you take a woman out on a date, the first date, ninety nine percent of the time, you're not gonna sleep with her on the first date. You understand what I'm saying? Most women are gonna be like, I I might give you a kiss on the cheek, I might give you a little peck on the lips. I'm going to leave you with some curiosity for the next day. I'm going to leave this to your imagination, you know. And that's with a lot of different things. Curiosity will bring you back. You know, it's like, that's why they have movie trailers. Curiosity. You want to find out what happens to this person, that person. This is why they used to have those big cliffhangers, you know. Uh, and different. Hell, matter of fact, one of the biggest, one of the biggest curiosities I remember when I was a kid. 
Dallas. They had a show called Dallas. J.R. Ewing, one of the most unbelievable evil characters of all time. J.R. Ewing. Somebody shot J.R. Ewing. So for the whole summer, they had who shot J.R.? Who shot J.R.? Everybody was curious. Who shot him? I don't know who shot Jr. How could they shoot Jr.? Why did they shoot Jr.? It's very definition of curiosity. And then they came back the next season. They had some monster ratings. People wanted to know who shot Jr. and why they shot Jr. Curiosity, ladies and gentlemen, when done right, will bring people in the door. Now you got to have a great product. In the, you got to have a great product standing behind you, but. Even if you don't have a great product, you still can bring them in with the curiosity. Remember, it's different ways for curiosity. Different ways you say things, different ways you do things. But just make sure you are using curiosity in your marketing strategy, in your marketing belt. Okay? It's just like you say, hey, these people are making X amount of dollars. Find out how. Find out why things like that curiosity curiosity you want to bring them in you want to tease them a little bit you want to give them a little sprinkle you know a little seasoning a little, little flavor you know bring it in real reel them in you know it's like you're fishing you know you want to get customers you know you tell people hey 70 percent off 70 percent off what come find out what we are selling and you will like it or whatever you know that's curiosity. That's what you want to do. That's what you need to do. Make sure you are using curiosity in some of your posts. Make sure you are using curiosity in some of your videos. Sprinkle in curiosity and you will be amazed at how people, more people will come. You know what I'm saying? So take that, use it, you know, be fast with your curiosity. Now, we talked about speed yesterday, but today is just curiosity. Be 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 make make the people curious make the people want what you are about to give them make them make them wet the, make them feel like they make them make them want to wet their beak you know make them want to wet their appetite you know just you know be curious be sometimes you have to be a little mysterious it's okay be a little have them curious, have them guessing, have them on the toes, have them wanting what you got. And then sometimes once you show them, they're like, boom, I'm in, boom, I'm in, boom, I'm in. So take that. That's it for today. Go out and be as curious as you can. And curiosity is with anything, you know, dating, marketing, job, anything, you know. Guys, girls, don't matter. You can, you know, you don't have to put out... You don't have to put out day one. You don't have to put out the first day. You know, sometimes it's to your advantage if you make them wait and wait and wait and wait. So, all right, that's it for today. Go out, be curious, do a few curious, uh, a few curious things, and we will talk to you tomorrow. And as always, everybody, peace.